Oh! Who's that loser? It's Spearhead Games himself. I love that guy. <clears throat> yes. Powered by WY's hit detection. Is it going to be good in this game? Oh. Bloody window keeps teleporting around the screen. As in, I moved it once and then it teleported back after the little intro there. Stories, the path of destinies. Oh. Now, before I begin, today marks the beginning of me some trying something new. Something... well, two things new, actually. One thing, the most important thing, is instead of uploading two parts a day, I'm thinking I'll just upload one part a day and make the parts like 20 minutes, 20 to 30, uh, depending on how long the game is supposed to be. You know, because it just makes more sense, doesn't it? Why two parts a day? That just risks people missing one of them. Either because of YouTube's naffness, or because they checked at like one time and the second part wasn't up yet, and then they missed the second part. Why not just put it all into one handy, healthy video? And the second thing is, maybe I'm changing the video titles. Instead of Pause Gaming, maybe I'll just put PG in brackets. I'm not completely sure on that one yet, because I don't want it to seem like, like these are parental guidance rated videos or something. That's the trouble. I don't know. But yeah, you know, because my video lengths can be quite long at times. So I thought maybe cutting it down a bit to just four letters or four symbols. I don't know. I don't know. don't know about that one. But yeah, I'm almost certainly going to be putting these into double length videos and just doing one a day instead because it's just simpler that t that way. The only reason I haven't done that so far mainly is because like, I like to record the whole game and then sort it out so that it ends on a Friday. So some days will have more or less parts to to make it end on a Friday, but maybe I'll just make it end on whatever day it ends on and then fill the rest of the days of the week with something else. You know, some, some extra doom or some extra something. Yeah, something like that. There certainly won't be any days without videos though. But anyway, that's two and a half minutes of talking right there. Let's begin, shall we? Stories, the path of destinies. Begin the timer the trouble. I'm going to have to remember to watch the timer. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you can only have one save file on this game. That's good, isn't it? God. Once upon a time, oh! The infamous rover Renard plundered the floating isle. It's a furry. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. No wonder I've got this game. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rushed. Oh! Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music cards and wine. Oh, a good card the game. Had changed. Oh, like Yu-Gi-Oh. He'd been once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. And anniversaries. And people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. <gasps> Midnight rituals. Oh, shite. Victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages. Oh. And no one ever I wish a raven would the kidnap me. Ubar, scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians would you, hidden the books. Would you say their stories? So they the librarians. The citizens, oh. outraged, had driven them off. Are they paths of the destinies? Had come back with drop ships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. That stupid hat. Renato had promised his mother he'd protect him. God, what a stupid... Tr kids, eh? Tr kids. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll have to kid go protect him. Down, Look at him. Watching his city burn. What a noob. Sorry, kid. Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! Is this the I same person? I protect you. Oh, damn it. You! had run off. With the book, of course. Of course. So Renato had to run after him. Yeah, he did. Hold right mouse to move. Oh, it's like Magicka. This is mostly a blind playthrough. I've played maybe one or two levels. Because I was giving it a go before just leaving it open for cards. 
and it was one of those games that was fun enough that I kind of had difficulty stopping playing. Like, it doesn't seem like anything particularly special, but fun. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner. The two ravens. Which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Who? Hey, Bernardo said. Hey. They cocked their heads at him. Cock. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Oh. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens oh. called and rushed at him. Ugh, ugh. What riveting combat. It's fine. When an enemy is about to attack, mouse left mouse button to counter. Is it Batman Arkham Asylum? Or whatever. That was pretty skill that was, as you'd expect of me. See, it is pretty good actually, isn't it? Chonk. I don't know what I'd find more attractive, the fox or the ravens. I'm more a fan of birds than foxes, but foxes are flew overhead. cute creatures. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. This isn't me being weird, he's the one who said pick on someone as ugly as you. So obviously we're talking about looks here. Hold left mouse to grab. Mouse to aim. Release left mouse to throw. Piss off me. He's a strong boy. Strong lad. Absolute unit, as they say these days to those internet kids. Oh, right. The gate of hero. Oh. Someone's idea of a joke. Making what? the Skyship Docks a gated community. Whatever. You needed a hero's sword to open it. Needed. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. That mean you don't need it anymore. Let you through. Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Yeah, he is. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. That wasn't a I laugh. You don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Oh, damn, you're right. I haven't. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Yeah, Where was Renato going to get a hero sword? Almost every living creature has guts. Of course I've got a hero sword. I am the hero, and I have a sword. Left mouse, wrong sword. Oh, is that what it's called? Can I have some enemies to attack with my wrong sword? Yum! And wind essence? What? That sounds about right. Fart on a sword. Workshop, though. High workshop. Perfect. Is it? Sword crafting. This is a sword crafting menu here. You can craft and upgrade powerful magic swords, gather the required materials from the chest scattered throughout the Bore for a Boreas. The Borealis. Yep. Yep. Look badass. Yes, please. A hero sword. Oh! QED. What? QED? What does that mean? Q, Q extra. Dicks. What? Look at all this cool. It's like East. No, it isn't. Why are they all ma Oh, they're not all made of wind essence, actually. We haven't got nearly enough ore to make a hero sword. Bye. What can I do with this? I forgot to look. Oi! Allows you to heal yourself. Oh no, that. Currently, we are just looking badass. Oh! <clears throat> right, let's get out of here, shall we? Who can we kill now? <sighs> this is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. Yeah. The kid's mum had been a swell cook, and she'd laughed at Bernardo's jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. But she made him the swell as well. Had come to burn her. Oh. And she made him promise to protect the kid. I didn't do a very good she job. Never told him where the book was. He's gone. Just the kid. Well, I prefer books over kids, so. What is this actually a hero sword now? It is. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? But the one sword I need is, needed was the one sword I could craft. What if I could make a different one, and I did make a different one, and then I'd be stuck forever? Hello? 
He came up to a ledge. It was too far oh, to jump. You haven't gotten far, have you? There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. He's not giggling. How did you get across? He asked the kid. He's a rabbit. Where'd you find a hook? I harped. Said the kid. I harped. White ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. What? There's nothing you, there. Said Renato. Oh me. Ah, oh, ravens. How did he see? They're around the corner and down the stairs. Whatever. Oh, he's gone. Oh no, they're starting to block now. Well, they're doing a lot, aren't they? Uh, time to talk some sense into the kid. Earning their pay. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. But where did I get a hook? He, was. he hadn't used his hook since he retired. Oh, that. Maybe if he meditated. At that altar there. Yeah, maybe. He'd remember his old skills. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh! Oh, look! Each time you gain a level, you also gain a skill point. Spend your skill points at the altars scattered throughout Boreas. The Borealis. This is Half-Life 3. To gain new powerful abilities or upgrade existing ones. Oh, look at all the locked off ones. The more truths you discover, what? Yeah, skill info. You have a skill point. Buy the hook shot. Can't I have perfect strike instead? Slow down time. What the hell? It's just a fox. How does he have this power? Countering an attack now causes damage. Why would it not before? Because. Because that would be tit, that would. Health. Oh, tasty. Right, go on then. Alt to use. To come back to no, it wasn't. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. Yeah. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. How could you forget how to freeze time? It's so simple and easy. Herp. Yep, Zelda rip off. Nah, not really. Well, this is hard, isn't it? This is the first level. And there was the far fair. Uh oh. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. He's about to get away. She could do the Kester run in twelve furlongs. Whatever that is. So the salesman told him. And something told him. What's that? He was about to walk into an ambush. What is that now? Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book. I don't want the book. Shouted the kid, and took off. I just want no. you to be alive. Peter. The kid ran for it. And a gauntlet. Oh! He's dead now. A child died in a video game. Oh, I don't want to die. Piss off, mate. Cheers. Oh! Oh, chopped in half with a meaty center. Is he legit dead? Unburned. A pile of ash. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes. And the kid sized pile of ashes. Pile of shit. Damn it. Can I have I the helmet? He lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels. Because he's an idiot. The kid will be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. I'd rather be dead than Damn pissed it. off and betrayed. Leonardo picked up the book. No, I wouldn't. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He could, he just he doesn't want to. to get it out of there. Be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Oh, Dick. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. Why is there a glowing barrel? Die. Can I get some stuff from these? Like, so oh, yes, I can. Oh, health. Yeah, that was a pretty tough fight against the enemy that took one hit to kill. So thanks for that. No, maybe you needed it from the previous ones. Ah, oh, bunny ashes. Oh well. Maybe he'll enjoy life better that way. Because he can fly. You know, hopping a long distance is one thing, but... Flying? Boy, you ain't lived till you've been a dragon. Last point, I wonder if there's going to be any reptilians in this. Oi! What was the big deal about this book, anyway? It's cool. Maybe he should open it and find out. Yeah, you should. I'd like to know. All that had been years ago. Oh. 
How many? The war was a blur. That doesn't tell me now anything. Raven scout ships were chasing him. Maybe just have a bad memory. Where are you running, rebel? Voice. Caught the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Oh! Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. We're already out. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the Raven. Not laughing. running. Flying. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. Mm. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base! Slow row. spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Core blimey. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. Whoa! A sea of endless blood-coloured tornadoes. Why? The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game changer. Oh, thanks Maybe for reminding me I'm playing could. a game. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. The Skion. The legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Whoa. Surely a legendary <coughs> weapon could win the final battle. Oh, we're at the, the final other, battle already. His old friend Lupino had sent Renardo <laughs> a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. Lupinus. If Renardo could only rescue him. Renardo dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt oh. the heat of the jet stream, Were you made in the it? raven ships peeled off. Not stable enough to follow him down there. Made in the abyss. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky River. Yeah, uh, I don't know how this is going to go, because I kind of want to do all the paths, you know? So, I don't know if later when you finish the game you can go back and do the ones you didn't do. I'd rather... Oh, wait. The rebellion was out of time. Renardo needed a game changer, even though Lupino wasn't what one what anyone would consider a game changer. He could come up with some harebrained schemes. Maybe rescuing him was worth it. Build the Sky Ripper. The rebellion was out of time, and oh, an ancient artifact that defeated the last god, lost gods, rather, god, <laughs> would indeed be a game changer. Though it was split into two pieces many years ago. Renardo could rebuild it by first getting its armature, whatever that is. I like gems more than rabbits. But will I remember which parts I took before if I get the chance to do them all later? Whatever. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. Sorry, Lapinus. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Isengrim III, had once been kind, Whoa. but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the lost What's gods. What's he so angry about? And he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth. No. It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. I bet he wouldn't. Of course, with this new method of doing longer parts and just one a day... As he set foot in the oh. island, Renardo could not help but feel a tinge of guilt. Whatever. He'd left Lapino behind. Yeah, whatever. He hoped the Mad Rabbit had somehow escaped the Ravens. I'll do it later. He hoped they hadn't eaten him. Oh, I hope he did. He had. He hoped they hadn't eaten him alive. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? How would they eat him if they were Renardo dead? He never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. Guts. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. Oh well. That was against his nature. Oh, what? Achievement. Could he stick with it? Find his keepers, even though I'm pretty sure I've done this level before as well. Because when I continued my game... Well, let's just say I had something that looked like I've done this level before. I can't be certain though. But yeah. I just realised... Oh, there's a hole in the world! Maybe that's normal though. Yeah, it is. But yeah, with this new method, one part a day but longer parts, how am I going to know when to split the parts? Probably just at some point after 20 minutes I'll be like, right, this seems like a good place. Next time, we'll go this way and open this chest and, and see what's going on down here. Yeah, just the way I do with the weekend playthroughs, just not always half hour parts. Hello? Can I have some more treasure? That looks like a way to go, that does. I think we'll go over here. 
Oh. Yum. Oh, look at it all. How could you miss that? And if you do miss that, how would you finish the game? I'm sure I'm going to miss some stuff, though. Especially if it's this open world. No, it isn't. Yeah. Like, I could end the part here, because it's over 20 minutes, but I spent a few minutes chatting at the start, so I'm not counting that against the part time. Hey, look, more free stuff. Or is that a workshop? It is if as well. I craft a sword now. It's going to be really short. Just like a fox's sword is, is it? I don't know. What's this? Oh. Bloody Diablo, innit? Or torchlight or something. This is the gem socket in menu here. You can equip powerful gems that will augment both your offense and defensive capabilities. <clears throat> Gaunt has three sockets into which you can put gems. So that one of sockets to see your gems. We ain't got anything. Each gem has three levels. It's an effect. And its effect increases to each level. Picking up a gem you already have will automatically upgrade at gem's level. Sick of me, and I'll never know you there. You can find gems in the chest scattered throughout Boreas if you're lucky enough. No, if you find them, it's not about luck. Yeah, we ain't got any, so bog off, basically. No, I can't upgrade anything. No, no. Bye then. What's the point of putting it here when I. Huh? When I physically cannot have enough to make it. To make anything. Oh, look. Who needed bridges anyway? I don't know if I've been over here. Oh, jeez. It was a long time ago that I had a quick play of this, but. This seems like something I would miss. Hello? Oh, the Shiten. Oh. Just a quick way back, that's all. Whoa! We're going in, are we? Uh, maybe this would be a good place to leave it. Yeah. yeah. Interesting little start here, isn't it? Did we get enough that time? No. Oh. So, yeah. I don't know how long this is going to be. I probably should have looked that up to, to get some idea of how long to make the parts, but whatever. I'll look it up after I end this part. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow for part two. Hopefully this new format works well. Any thoughts and stuff, let me know, even though you're going to be seeing this in the middle of 2019. Oh, whatever. See you tomorrow, bye. Mm -hmm.